Okay, so this bass is absolutely nothing like I've ever played. Um, how do I even explain this to you over a camera? So the dimensions of this <laughs> are wild. Um, it's huge. I'm not that short. I'm 5'10". I have decent sized arms. I can't even reach the, I can't even put the clip-on tuner. We've had to have Darian do it the whole time to put the clip-on tuner on the top of this bass. This is only a 34 inch scale. Um, and yet, the way that they built this bass, the bridge usually, if you look at most bass design, is at the bottom of the body. This one, it's way up here. So your dimensions are pushed way out this way, and it's a big, long extension of your hand. I can barely get my arms around here. I don't know how Thundercat does it. Uh, but you'll see I have this, the bass on a strap that's really high up, so I can try to get my hands around this neck. Speaking of the neck, this thing is wild. This is an 18-inch... A 18 millimeter string spacing on a six string, which is pretty much unheard of. Um, usually you'll be at like a 16, maybe 17 on a, on a, a six string bass. Also, uh, it's a very wide, it almost feels like if you're, if you're a guitarist and you know wizard necks, this is a wizard neck through and through. It's all basically flat on the back, almost the whole way up the neck, especially down here. Um, and it's just this big, wide, flat neck. So on top of that, this bass comes with uh, labella flat rounds from the factory. And it's really thick. It, it's nothing like I've ever played in my whole life. It's almost like, we were just saying off camera, it's almost like playing a different instrument. It's like I'm not playing a bass guitar. I'm playing a, a, a this, a, a Thundercat. I'm playing a Thundercat as we speak. Interesting points about this bass. Uh, it has a uh, GraphTech piezo system uh, in the bridge. It has these two EMG HZ humbuckers. It also has a, probably can't even move it because it's so big, a 13 pin output. So with the MIDI features of this bass, Thundercat does amazing and wild things that we're not going to touch on today. Um, I don't know how to trigger any of those things. But if you want to use MIDI on this, uh, there's a couple switches here. Uh, right here for the MIDI control, as well as MIDI mix with the uh, piezo and uh, magnetic pickups. All right in the front of the bass, very handy if you're a MIDI guy. Um, there's also a EQ switch that's down here as well. And then of course the pickup switch that's up here. Very interesting, you can tell, again, it's not your typical bass. Um, we can go through specs all day, but it really just comes down to the feel of it. All of these things were done obviously and clearly very intentionally to make this instrument specifically for Thundercat. It really is unique. So when you take these controls, these electronics, and you combine them with, the, with this crazy neck and body shape, you end up with an instrument that can do things that you can't really do on a normal electric bass. Thundercat's known for not slapping ever. I don't think I've ever heard him slap on anything. Um, slapping on this bass doesn't really sound great. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't sound right. That's what the pies was on, of course. Um, it's just weird. It's not really a good, a good vibe. But if you do some of those chordal things like he's known for, or some of those finger style runs like he's known for, um, you will notice it sounds great. <laughs> Fantastic sound. You'll notice also too when I've been playing, I'm playing all up in this area, which I think that honestly the bass was designed to do, right? So why would you move this whole bridge way out here? My current working theory is that, you know, in Thundercat you hear a lot of, of fifth to 14th fret type of area, which makes this bass very easy to play in those areas. And as you just heard with some of those chords and things, you can get almost jazz guitar types of sounds, especially way up here, Ugh, if I can see. Um, sounds like a jazz box, in a way. Very, very interesting. Uh, the the piezo uh, EQ switch, so listen to this. Makes it uh, much rolled off and very nice tone.
that rolled off sound is very usable and it's absolutely beautiful for those chordal types of things once again. Let's say something around here. You can still play with your fingers on this of course too. with that uh, uh, EQ switch up. You'll hear a big difference in tone there. So, what is this bass overall? It is an anomaly <laughs> in the bass world. It's different, it's unique. You almost have to sit and spend time with it and learn it and feel it. It's like a really different experience, honestly. Um, the, it, it's heavy. It weighs 12 and a half pounds, but the, the feel, uh, the way this wears, the way it plays, you start to think differently. Um, and you start to play a bit differently. And next thing you know, you're playing things that you've never played before. And you're hearing sounds that you haven't really heard before, haven't heard in the way that you've, that you've heard them on a different bass. And I have to say, after, sitting here prepping for this video for a while. This is a special instrument. I, I can't wait to spend more time off camera just just strumming around and playing chords and playing these these lines that I wouldn't have done ever before. So if you're looking to add a really wild unique bass to your collection, this is something that's truly not going to be like anything that you have now. I don't care if it's a Warwick or a Federa or a Spectre or whatever it is. Um, this is absolutely wild. So these bases are very hard to get. We've only had, uh, this is the third over many years of being an Ibanez dealer, and they take a long time to get, and they sell very fast. The first one we had sold in the day, the second one we had sold in the week. I have to imagine this one's going to be follow it close behind uh, on that schedule. So if you'd like one, grab it, because when we put them on order, we usually don't get them for a year or two afterwards. It's a stunning piece of architecture that is different. Enjoy, buy this bass, uh, subscribe, share, tell your friends. What up, Thundercat? We'll see you guys soon.